thank you very much. Uh, I am Dele Ogunseton. I'm a professor of population health and disease prevention at the University of California, Irvine. And I uh, direct the training and empowerment for um, the One Health Workforce Next Generation uh, project which is uh, supported by US uh, AID. And I want to thank uh, Sam uh, Wanjohi for inviting me to this wonderful conference and my colleagues at Afrohoon all over uh, Africa have been very supportive of this uh, work. I'm expected to talk to you today about the framework for sustainable implementation and collaborative One Health, uh, particularly in education. So I will uh, cover three major topics. Uh, one is uh, the definitions of One Health uh, that demands collaboration. Uh, I think the previous speaker uh, really um, addressed this point in taking us through all of the uh, pandemics uh, from the last uh, century up until COVID-19 and some of the gaps in collaboration that made those pandemics uh, spread and have uh, uh, impacts beyond uh, what we could control. Then I'll talk about the strategic uh, framework describing core competencies for One Health, which is really the goal of this session. Uh, how do we decide what professionals need to know uh, when we um, uh, want to fill those gaps uh, in collaboration that prevent uh, pandemics uh, from happening and other um, uh, health uh, risks as well. And then sustainability, how do we maintain uh, the collaborations over time, especially during the periods where we do not have uh, problems such as pandemics. I think a lot of the infrastructure that we're building now may respond to COVID-19, uh, but we need to make sure that um, it, when the pandemic recedes, that we don't let things relax too much and uh, that sustainability uh, will be important. And I will talk about what we're doing uh, with the One Health Workforce Academy. So the definition uh, of One Health demands collaboration. Uh, you may all have seen uh, last week the release of the definition of One Health by the uh, high level uh, expert panel uh, assembled by the tripartite uh, FAO, OIE, WHO, and UNEP. Uh, and that definition, um, if you haven't uh, seen it, uh, really talks about an approach that mobilizes multiple sectors, disciplines, and communities, which I highlighted uh, on this slide. It is very important for us to not just take these words as mere words. How do we implement them in training and education that builds bridges across sectors, across society, and in the One Health framework of ecosystems, animals, and humans. And so in the middle of this diagram, you have communication, collaboration, coordination, capacity building. Some of these are competencies that we need to make sure that we're all aware of, but also that experts have the capacity to deliver uh, on these words as promised. An example of that collaboration is um, a very recent, uh, last month, uh, my participation in the technical advisory group uh, for the tripartite One Health uh, Field Epidemiology Training Program uh, Competency Framework. Many, many people contributed to this effort. I am particularly proud of um, uh, working with colleagues uh, in the environment and ecosystem health sector. And I think the results of this will come uh, uh, hopefully early next year so that we can all uh, learn from it. Uh, very recently, I published uh, in the Emerging Magazine uh, at the invitation of colleagues in Indonesia, uh, their Indonesia One Health uh, University Network, 
And I talked about uh, uh, ensuring excellence in interprofessional skills for a competent workforce. I can share the link to that magazine for those who want to read, read it. But one of the things I mentioned, uh, consistent with the uh, work on COVID-19, is that the need for international collaboration and training in integrative surveillance is more pressing than ever. And integrative surveillance, in my view, is one of those gaps that we need to fill uh, with um, epidemiological uh, uh, training. Uh, I also uh, want to share with you that uh, we assembled a Delphi panel of experts across uh, many disciplines uh, and uh, professions to help us think through the next generation of One Health competencies. This was presented at the IMED uh, conference uh, that just concluded and a brief uh, summary of the presentation will be published in the International Journal of Infectious Diseases uh, in January. And I will be able to share uh, the link to those who are interested to look at the poster and hear my discussion of the disciplinary diversity and consensus uh, on the panel. Uh, and then in terms of sustainability, I mentioned that we're building a One Health Workforce Academy. We want to have an opportunity to develop a One Health certificate program based on the core competencies that come out of the Delphi panel. Uh, we have lessons on this academy. Uh, we, have, uh, uh, we will eventually have a, a test uh, for uh, completion of the competencies and acquisition of the skills. And uh, this academy, we're hoping will live uh, forever uh, with trainees coming and going and employers and students uh, making sure that we have a competent workforce. Uh, there is a pathway to certification uh, clearly defined on the academy. Uh, for those who are interested, we uh, encourage you to visit and explore uh, what you can do for continuing professional development and for employers to recognize those skills. You can preview our courses and pre-enroll. Uh, they are competency-based and we're beginning to launch uh, case studies, uh, a sequence of courses. The quality uh, assurance is important and we assembled an international board of One Health examiners consisting of Afrohun and Siohun, Southeast Asian members uh, that will make sure that what we build on the academy uh, is of high quality, competency-based, and prepares uh, people for the workforce and those in the workforce can come back uh, for continuing professional development. So that's what I want to share with you. I look forward to hearing the other presentations and joining the panel uh, for further discussion. Thank you so much.